So in this lesson, we're going to be focusing on vector addition of forces and how we can apply the basic principles of vector addition onto the addition of forces. And before watching this video, make sure to watch the video on vector operations if you haven't already, since this lesson involves vector addition. And so to start off, an important thing to know is that a force is a vector quantity according to experimental evidence, since it has a specified magnitude, direction, and sense. And therefore, vector operations can be applied, such as vector addition. And now an example in which we apply the parallelogram law to add two forces together. Let's say there is a chain suspended on a hook, which creates two forces, F1 and F2, on both sides of the hook as shown and we want to find the resultant force using addition. Here we can directly apply the parallelogram law, just like so, and that's going to be our resultant force, which we can simply call FR. And so F1 plus F2 simply equals FR. And now let's say we have a pin that is fixed to a wall, and there are two diagonal forces along that pin, F1 and F2. Here we can also use the triangle law to find FR. And so F1 plus F2 using the triangle law is going to look something like this, according to its rules. And that is FR. Again, we can also apply the parallelogram law to find FR. And for either case, FR is the same magnitude. 